We need to demand from our Congress representatives that they give us the mud log data. Now, what is that, Richard? Explain. All right. Every time a well is drilled, a record is kept of all the strata. As the drill you know, uh, pipe is going down, they're bringing up mud, they're bringing up rocks, they're bringing up actual physical geological evidence of every single formation that drill has to go down through okay. to get to the oil reservoir. The same with the Deepwater Horizon well. The same with the two relief wells they're currently drilling. Because of the increasing fragility of this seafloor, and you're absolutely right, George, we're seeing cracks, we're seeing leaks. We even have seen on the, B, uh, the, uh, the, the BP cameras from the ROVs, those underwater vehicles, actual oil being burped up from the seafloor, having nothing to do with this cutoff riser pipe that everybody's fixated on on, on the underwater television. That indicates, as Marvin said, that there is an increasing instability of the seafloor, and we don't know the extent of the damage. We do know, for instance, because it was released by the Department of Energy just today, that apparently when the Navy went down and did the gamma radiography, where they had a very high-emission gamma ray source sure. and they used film to kind of give them an X-ray of the blowout preventer. And for them to go down there means this is darn serious stuff. Well, yeah, I mean, uh, uh, President Clinton a couple of days ago in South Africa said the U.S. Navy had to get involved, and we've been deferring too much to BP. I mean, when was it written in the Constitution that a private corporation could basically destroy the entire economy of the southern United States? And we keep deferring and deferring and deferring to this small group of people who are answerable only to their stockholders and not to all the rest of us, 300-plus million people who pay the taxes in this country. Anyway, what we need are these mud logs, which are the vital record of the drilling of every well in the Gulf. There's something like 3,600 wells. What we need are about a 100-mile radius around the Deep Horizon well, we need the mud logs made public. Now, they're going to fight tooth and nail, all the oil companies, not just BP, because this is proprietary, expensive, valuable information. It's kind of like you don't want your competitors to know where you drilled, where you found your mother load. Yes. Well, we got to get over that because this is a crisis. We are at war. We're at war with the oil, which is coming up. And one of the inside sources I talked to just a couple days ago says, that on a conference call, a BP conference call that he was a participant in, someone mentioned that they actually may have gone down, get this, George, 30,000 feet oh my God. in this well. Oh. That's why the pressures are in excess of 100,000 PSI, as I said when I was first on the show. Even if they cap it, Richard, even there if they no seal it. cap it. But, 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 but even if they did, that could that possibly won't stop the well, methane no, from letting... because the well bore is destroyed. That's what I was about to tell you. The X-ray radiography, the gamma-ray radiography, shows that when the well blew on April 20th, Hitler's birthday, that shot the, the drill stem up into the BLP like a javelin, and they were able to image on this radiography, which is like an X-ray, Two drill stems sticking up through the BLP, which is why they couldn't cut it off cleanly and cap it weeks ago when they tried one of those, you know, kind of, let's, let's try this attempt, let's try that attempt. The bottom line here is we need the mud log data. And this audience, I was told by Maxine Waters when she called me, she's a member of Congress, very senior member from, from Los Angeles. She called me and said, what do you need? I said, we need the mud log data. We've got to force it out of the proprietary corporations who are going to sit on it until we all die because they are putting profits, as Marvin said, above everything else. We must force this into the open like Ed Markey, who's the chairman of the Energy and Commerce Committee, was able to force the, the, the cameras on so we could actually see what's going on underwater. We need this mud log data. Without that data, we are flying blind. We are drilling in the dark. We do not really know the state of the seafloor. We will not know the, the depths of the pressurization of those upper strata or the probabilities that this thing could actually blow in that methane bubble underground, which is pushing the bulge of the seafloor up for hundreds of square miles around the deep horizon rig. We will not know the extent of the fracturing of those upper strata or the likelihood of a sudden catastrophic release and the toxic gases, the methane, and most important, the tsunami that would create, which could sweep everybody from Louisiana, Texas, all the way over to Florida, 
into the ocean if it was big enough and violent enough. And again, Marvin said he does not know. Well, that's not his fault. It's because BP has been keeping everybody in the dark. It's time that it stop. And everybody this weekend, when your congressman is home on leave, on break, you know, the, the July 4th weekend, what better time to remind them that they're Americans first and servants of corporations second, and we need this damn data, and we need it now.